Hello and welcome viewers and subscribers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi, the son of Nube, and I hope I find you all well wherever you are. Uh, this broadcast is meant for those who are holders of the Zimbabwe exemption permits who want to transit or to move over to a mainstream South African visa you will know that there was a directive by the minister, a secular from the minister, in which he said that he was wavering the South African Qualifications Authority Certificate and the Department of Employment and Labor Certificate. So what is happening is that a number of people have been sending us questions asking if uh, they do still need to apply for a waiver. Uh, let me state it clearly that this is for Zimbabwean exemption permit holders only, not other people who have been applying for waivers and permits in South Africa. So this is what I'm going to respond to you in full. And I hope uh, even those who have been bringing to us different uh, voice notes and letters from different people are going to take heed of what I'm going to say here. But before I go ahead, May I kindly request that you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. So, the first question that I got, in fact, there are two main questions that I got. The first question was, do holders of the ZEP need to continue applying for waivers, those that have not yet applied for waivers and want to transit to this to a mainstream South African visa, especially the general work visa. The second one being, if that is no longer the case, then what happens to the money that people paid to get, uh, to, to apply for the waivers, and what happens to those that have already been granted waivers? So these are the two questions that I'm going to respond to. I have spoken to the Department of Home Affairs and this is what they tell us. If you have a ZEP and you have uh, applied for a, a waiver and you are awaiting that particular waiver, what you need to do is you no longer need to continue waiting, but what you should do is you go on and apply for a general work visa. And then what is going to happen now is that the VFS is going to refund everyone who has applied for a waiver and whether or not you've been granted that particular waiver, you will be refunded. But even if you have been, uh, you have applied for a waiver and you have paid VS, VFS, what you need to do is apply for a general work visa, pay the amount that they want, Submit your documents uh, at VFS, and then when you go there, this is where the rest is going to happen. So, whether you have applied for a waiver or you were not, uh, you have not yet applied and were awaiting to apply or a chance to apply, just go ahead and apply for a general work visa, and you will be refunded the money that you paid for the waiver but that will be communicated to each individual as they go to the vfs to submit their documents so we are expecting also that there will be another uh statement from the department of home affairs as to confirmation of the refund that is going to happen because you will know that a number of people more than eighty thousand, have already applied for waivers, some have been granted, some have not yet been granted. So what you need to do, the confirmation is there that you no longer need to apply for a waiver. You now need to apply for a general work visa if that is what you want, to apply for a business permit if that's it, but that is what you want. Uh, so the minister has waivered the requirement for the South African Qualifications Authority and the Department of Employment and Labor certificates which were a requirement before and which based on which a number of people were being turned back 
you will know that there is a number of people that were granted waivers and they went on to apply for a general work visa, but they were rejected based on the fact that they could not produce the SACA certificate, based on the fact that they could not produce uh, the Department of Employment and Labor certificate. So there you have it, uh, waiver. I mean, ZEP holders, just go on and apply for a general work visa if that's the visa that you've been looking for. So the minister has set aside that particular requirement. If you have any more questions, please uh, use the comment section underneath this video and we will respond to you. Uh, if you want us to talk to you directly, just uh, send a WhatsApp message to plus two seven seven three nine six two three zero seven five. 079 073 sorry 073 9623075 thank you very much don't forget to subscribe to this channel like this video and share it